Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's D. Lewis. So last night, a trade went down between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Los Angeles Clippers. And in that trade, Tobias Harris was shipped out, essentially creating a new big four for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, in that trade, it features Tobias Harris, Boban Maljanovic, Mike Scott, all going to the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, what are the Clippers then getting in return? Well, the Los Angeles Clippers, they will be receiving Landry Schmidt, Wilson Chandler, Mike Muscala, a 2020 first rounder, which is protected, lottery protected, and a 2021 unprotected first round pick. And that will also include two second rounds round draft picks now how do i feel about this trade well essentially the clippers they are going all in in free agency in the summer of 2019 and that is clear with this trade we know that currently tobias harris was scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent excuse me and that he is going to command somewhere near the max if not the max contract the Clippers did not want to put that type of money into Tobias Harris. Of course, we all know they're looking at players like Kawhi Leonard. They want to try to get a player like Kevin Durant. They have bigger aspirations this summer than re-signing Tobias Harris. And that is clear with this trade. It is also clear that maybe they're not even trying um, particularly to win this season. Because currently they have the A seed. You know, getting rid of Tobias Harris, who is having his best season in the NBA so far, is definitely going to be a hit to that. So if you're a Lakers fan, that's good news. You're two games behind the Clippers. They get rid of their best player. Now the Lakers have an opportunity to try to sneak into the playoffs also. But when you look at it from the Philadelphia side, it is a huge risk. But also at the same time, you're safeguarding your future. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, you have Jimmy Butler, who's also scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent. You now have Tobias Harris. You traded away all of those draft picks. So you gave away a lot of stuff, but there is no guarantee that Jimmy Butler is going to want to come back to Philly. There's no guarantee that Tobias Harris is going to want to necessarily come back to Philly. Now, Philadelphia, they're going to try to get the cap space to not sign not one of them, but both of the players in the offseason. But say one of them decided to leave, one of them wants to go elsewhere, you now have two opportunities to bring back one of them, and you still have a big three there. Maybe not a big four, but you still have a big three there. And I think that's the way that the Philadelphia 76ers are trying to handle this situation. Now, when you look at the starting lineup now with Tobias Harris there, hands down, Philly probably now has the best starting lineup in the Eastern Conference. Now, will it all gel together on the court? Of course, we will have to wait and see how that actually turns out. But when it comes to just the lineup and how it looks on paper, to me, I think they have the best starting lineup in the Eastern Conference. We'll see what happens with everything else and how they actually mesh on the court. The Clippers, to me, not a huge fan of this. Tobias Harris, yes, he's going to command a lot of money. Um, yes, you're playing for the summer of 2019, so I'm fully aware of what the Clippers were doing. Ah, I'm just not a huge fan. Something still tells me the, the Clippers are going to get Kawhi in the summer. But other than that, I'm not sure who else they're going to be able to land. And that's just my opinion. Of course, Anthony Davis is in play. Um, Adrian Wojnowski said this move was not made to try to get Anthony Davis in place. But he will be in play with those draft picks. But I just don't see them having more to offer than the Lakers or having more to offer than the Celtics to try to get a player like Anthony Davis. So not a huge fan from the perspective of the Clippers. If you're the 76ers, clearly you're putting everything in. In this season and the next couple seasons to come, um, I think it definitely should work out. I don't see any reason why Tobias Harris couldn't really mesh with the current lineup. But of course, sometimes you have too much talent. It's going to take some time for everybody to kind of get things situated. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about the trade in the comment section below. Like I said, I don't mind that at all for the Philadelphia 76ers. I now think they have the best starting lineup in the Eastern Conference. Not a huge fan of it from the Clippers' perspective, but you let me know how you guys feel about it in the conversation below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.